I'm sorry, what? Shades panicked! Because somebody turned into a chrysalid. That is not good. Shades, what are you doing? Why are you panicked? The events in this video are fictional, as are the characters portrayed within. In the similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental, and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. Hello one and all, Mickey here, Surviving RNG, and welcome back to XCOM EW Long War AI Pets. A few things to cover before we begin. Our squad is kitted out here and ready to go, most of them at least. But as I mentioned at the end of last episode, we have an officer problem. We need more officers, and the choices were Renee, Patrick Carlock, James Watt, Unholy Wasp, Paul Hewson, Illustrious, or Gary Cooper. And I can tell you right now, the people that won't be officers are Paul Hewson, Illustrious, and Gary Cooper, because Paul Hewson Infantry currently has so others may live, and has medium will for a sergeant. Honestly, the only thing going for him really was the fact that he had so others may live, and that's a really good perk for an officer to have. But so many other people will get it anyway, including further up the list, Patrick Carlock and Unholy Wasp, who Wasp already has it. Seeing as he's got average will, then just no thanks, he's not a mean officer. Next up, we have got Illustrious. Again, another infantry, again average will, but what was going for him was he would get Stay Frosty and Combined Arms. Now, Stay Frosty is honestly just completely irrelevant. It messes up the idea of double dipping soldiers, putting them on one mission and then sending them out onto another mission straight away afterwards. Stay Frosty actually works against that because it reduces fatigue time but it doesn't reduce exhaustion time. And then the other officer perk that you would get would be Combined Arms which is really good but further up the list, Renee already has it. He doesn't have to get rid of another perk to get it so we're not going to bother with Illustrious. And not to mention Illustrious random rookie perk was Repair and it's generally not a good idea to have an officer have Repair because you want the officer to be commanding the person who has Repair so they can do a capture attempt twice which is not that great for Carlock, you know, we'll get to him in a second. And then we've got Gary Cooper, yet another infantry, yet another soldier with average will. And he would get combined arms, Semper Vigilance, and so others may live. All very good officer perks. As I mentioned, Unholy Wasp has already got so others may live, Renee's already got combined arms, and Owen Wilson also has so others may live, not to mention Van Dorn or Friendly, who'll get it later down the line, as officer perks in the officer perk tree. But to top it off, he'd have to give up Distortion Field, Low Profile, and Aggression to get them. And none of these are amazing amazing perks, but aggression synergizes well with infantry, and distortion field and low profile just generally synergize well together. Although then again, that's not to say that I won't go for combined arms anyway. But that's not the matter. Cooper, you're out. That leaves Renee, Carlock, Watt, and Wasp. And here's the thing, guys. I'm going to make all of them officers. Renee, because he already has combined arms, and he's got goodwill for a sergeant, but also the fact that as he's got double tap and disabling shot, he used the marksman rifle, so he will be with the squad. And with so many people having lightning reflexes, it's quite likely that I'll be carrying a different soldier doing the lightning reflexes job. So Renee, thumbs up to you. Next up we have Patrick the Plumber Carlock. Now this is kind of a problem. He has average will for a sergeant. He doesn't currently have any officer perks, but he will be getting So Others May Live and a Spirit de Cause. Both those are good officer perks, but the problem is for Carlock, even though he's an engineer which puts him in the middle of the squad, he has concealment, which means, as I mentioned last episode, he's going to be running well ahead of the squad. And to top it off, his random rookie perk, if you can call it random, him being a hero unit, so we chose it for him, was Repair. And officers with Repair kind of work against each other. As I said a few seconds ago about Illustrious, you're going to want an officer commanding the person who has Repair so they can do another capture attempt. So between Concealment and Repair, that really makes him not a very good officer. So I was thinking, screw it, he's a hero unit, I can turn him into an officer and just have him be as a backup officer. We can use him when we need to, and if we don't need to use him, then we don't need to use him. Next up, we have got James Watt. He's a Rocketeer who is sitting nicely in the squad. He's got good will for a corporal, and later down the line, he'll be getting into the breach. I wouldn't imagine he's going to get enough XP to get that this mission, of which he will be coming this mission, and then so shall you fight. Now, as I mentioned last mission, he'd make a really good rookie trainer, but I thought at the time, you know, screw it, we already have a good rookie trainer in the form of Owen Wilson. But as a couple of you guys mentioned, Owen Wilson isn't really a proper rookie trainer. He's more of an easy mission officer. He's a sniper, he doesn't need to stay near the squad, and he's a rookie trainer in the sense that the missions that he would go on, sniping, are going to be generally easier missions to have. But as James Watt will have both into the breach, 25% extra XP for completing the missions for any soldier that's at sergeant rank or lower, and so shall you fight, plus 25% XP for every kill, that really does make him a proper rookie trainer. And it's not going 
be long before we're going to have a lot of rookies to train. So you kind of need to be on your way, buddy. Next up, we've got Unholy Wasp, one of two medics. And honestly, how, how could I pass up an officer like that? But seriously, though, his random rookie perk was so others may live. He's got average will for a corporal, which, you know, isn't great. But then again, medics do tend to get higher than average will, if I remember correctly. And he doesn't get any other officer perks in his perk tree. But I did notice he's not a useless soldier. When he gets to Gunnery Sergeant, he will actually have rapid reactions. So awesome. I'll go for that then. So those are going to be our four officers. Unfortunately, we only have three lieutenant slots available. We're going to get two more from regimental officers and one more from commanding officers. So when we buy regimental officers now and comm officers later, that will leave us two reserve lieutenant officer slots, which honestly should be enough. Worst case scenario, somebody dies in inverted commas, we'll get any officer slots available back. Or if somebody is that bad, we can just dismiss them, which we have yet to do. And I would imagine that's ever going to come about. So we need 400 bucks. We are going to sell 95 Illyrium. We're going to start needing it soon, but that time isn't yet. 22 Muton Corpses and 22 Floater Corpses, leaving us 10 of each. That'll give us nearly 600 bucks. Why that much? Well, click. I've been meaning to buy another Gatlin laser and another strike rifle. Why? Because so many soldiers are going to start getting the Weapons Master perk if they don't already, and we only have one of each. As for extra auto cannons and sniper rifles, we can get them from Exalt that are going to start having them soon, so that's not a problem. As for SMGs, heaters, or carbines, we generally have enough of those. I don't think we're going to need more. Shotguns we can do with an extra one, I suppose. And laser rifles, we have enough, but if we need more, again, we can capture them from Exalt, which shouldn't be that long. So, Gatlin laser please Shen and laser strike rifle thank you you could argue that Gore's weapons aren't that far off, but honestly, they kind of are. Next up, we're going to go for mutant autopsies, then alien biocybernetics, then floaters, then cyberdisks, then chrysalids, then seekers. So yeah, Gore's weapons, yeah, they are still quite a ways off. That being said, let's buy regimental officers. Boom. And then hand out some promotions. Firstly, to Van Dorn. There's not even an option. He's going to get upgraded. He's going all the way, baby. And Band of Warriors plus two aim for every continent bonus that we have. Absolutely, we're getting this. Esprit de Corpse is good, but compared to plus four aim right now and later on potentially plus ten aim, absolutely, we're going to get this. So Band of Warriors, not to mention, this is one of the two officer perks that don't work anywhere besides being an officer. So Van Dorn, you're going to be one of the elite few. Oh, beautiful Van Dorn. Absolutely beautiful. Next up, Major. Of course, it's going to be friendly. And because you don't go on rookie trainers, you go on killing missions with your opportunist rapid reactions. We're going to go for soldiers get 25% extra XP for every kill. Good work, soldier. We're not going to upgrade anybody else besides the four soldiers we intended. I don't know how far down the line the other soldiers are going to go in the officer tree. All I know is Van Dorn is going all the way and Friendly is not going to be far behind. So let's start off with Renee. Legio Pastor and Ostra. Stay frosty. No, thank you. You are a rubbish perk. Patrick Harlock, we can't promote you yet. Whoops. James Watt, the same goes for you. That is unfortunate. But Unholy Wasp, you are good to go, my friend. Again, Legio Pastor and Ostra. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh my god, that is... Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's really spooky. That is just very creepy. So yeah, that leaves Carlock and Watt unable to be officers right now. They haven't been on enough missions, which is kind of unfortunate because Watt was going to be leading the squad this mission. So no officer this mission then. Damn it. He just hasn't been on enough missions, which is kind of annoying. Considering Watt has more XP than Unholy Wasp, I'd imagine the difference is Wasp has been on two missions and Watt has only been on one. So we are taking a bit of a risk here not having an officer, but Watt, in our hearts, you'll be leading the squad. And if for no other reason to upgrade your potential as an officer later on is to get our one and only in the zone at Gunnery Sergeant. And he's been kitted out with heavy armor, a laser carbine, because I want him to rank up. He's been finishing off low health exalt, rocket launcher, a spare rocket, and a scope, just to make sure all of his shots, including his rockets, hit. And those rockets will be mayhem rockets too. So yeah, we don't want them to miss. Moving back through the squad, we have got Michael Bay, lightly armored, laser shotgun, laser pistol, two HE grenades, not that he's ever any good at them, and high cap mags, so he can keep shooting and keep Keep shooting because he's got close encounters and also he's gonna be our lightning reflexes soldier next up tyler perry the absolute beast he got weapons expert last mission which is why he's gonna be bringing along a gatlin laser he's gonna be lightly armored laser pistol scope which he really needs seems he's not gonna get the close range bonus that he's used to as well as a med kit in fact our only med kit and why gatlin laser with that much ammo because he's got close encounters and of course rapid fire as well and not to mention soon he's gonna be getting hit and run and with the next rank up all of his shots gonna be dealing plus one damage very very 
very nice parry. Next up, William Pale. He's going lightly armoured, laser shotgun. He's taking our heater with us, so his mobility is going to take a little bit more of a hit. Our only motion tracker and high cap max to keep shooting. Again, he's got close encounters. Then we've got McLean taking the super heavy laser because McLean generally doesn't fire at the same target twice. She uses close encounters and shoots at different targets. And to that end, she'll be taking a targeting module to make sure that when she shoots those targets at very close range, they'll be crits. Taking high cap mags as well and a laser sight. We still don't have the extra scope that Shen is still building, Shen. Then we've got Angelo, standard auto cannon, taking the flush perk with him. High cap mags to keep shooting because he does have rapid fire and a scope. Again, to make up for the fact that he's going to be using rapid fire, which is in a lower his aim. Then we've got shades, lightly armored because his mobility is so bad. Heavy laser rifle to make use of its extended range with squad sight, which won't really count for much. It's only like two or three tiles. Standard pistol, scope, and high cap mags to keep shooting like everybody. And lastly, we have got Farrok Bulsara. We have not been giving the queen much love. And it's about time that he levels up a little bit because at Sergeant, he gets rapid reactions, which can actually make him a half decent soldier. He'll be our only gunner with a multi shot perk. A passive multi shot perk, but a multi shot perk nonetheless. And with Mayhem giving extra damage on LMGs, that should really help. And speaking of Mayhem, he's been using that with Suppression and Mayhem to guarantee that if you want somebody dead, Farrok here will be the one to do it, regardless of his chance to hit. Then he's got high cap max because he's got an auto laser and not an LMG because the auto laser has us ammo and our only flashbang and that is a squad ready to go. As for the pet, what's it going to be? Pal's drone useless? Oh my god no. Perry's sectoid Medea? Eh, it's not terrible. Or of course because, you know, this is an exalt mission. Shade's baby christed Chris in the belly of the zombie he keeps tied to a chain in his barracks. He's coming along and we're going to see if we can get another zombie apocalypse and that is a squad ready to go. As I mentioned, we don't have an officer which is kind of awkward but we do have four close encounters on Pal, Perry, Bay and McLean. Two rapid fires on Angelo and Perry. I light him up on Shades and that's about it because Farrok and Watt don't have any multi-shot perks. So hopefully we should be fine. As for what map it's going to be, it's going to be a settlement. What maps are going to be are on the screen now. Hopefully none of them cause us any problems. Let's just dive straight in. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. We've detected a German border. We'll need Strike One to rendezvous with an exalt cell operating inside the German border. Uh, thank, thank, thanks, Bradley. So, Sacred Day. It is indeed. Any day we can make a zombie apocalypse, it absolutely is. It's actually the first map that we've ever been on. Right, we started over here, worked our way to the rooftops, and just slaughtered everybody. Man, that was such a long time ago. Yeah, Bay was here. Blanchette was here. I think Bark was here as well. Shades, were you here as well, I think? Possibly. He was one of the very, very early soldiers that we had. So, we're gonna head back down here, clearly exalt what this bar after the aliens have been here. So, let's clear it out. operative was in position um. to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding Hi. our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objective updated. Um, hi. hi. Hi there, Exalt. That is really, really awkward. That, oh my god, that's really, really awkward. Although, worst case scenario, Walken's got a running gun to here, and then potentially a blue move to there? Pretty sure, yeah, your mobility is insane. Look at that, you can move from here all the way over to there. You should have no problems going from here to there. And then to there. Wow, the next one's right there. Okay, well, never mind. So, with no officer, that means no officer perks to hand out. But Shades will spawn in your baby daddy zombie. And we'll be right back. Hopefully, when I save and load the game, which is what I need to do when I spawn in units, this exalt won't automatically trigger. But, you know, we'll find out. Okay, well, that's good at least. This pod didn't trigger, and in fact, we actually see more of them now. Oh, this game. This game. It's a very funny game. What have we got, in fact? A Rocketeer and three Assaults. Ah, we'll deal with them in time. But guys, I kind of accidentally spawned in a Chrysalid instead of a zombie. That's kind of kind of my bad. Whoops. So, yeah, that, that, that was a bit of an accident. I spawned in a Chrysalid instead of a zombie. Yeah, yeah. Ignore the Chrysalid that's over here. It's fine. We'll ignore him. When this zombie turns into an enemy Chrysalid, and I have to replace it with a friendly one, which I'll do off camera, he'll have a buddy, a corpse buddy, to, to hang out with. It's fine. Fine. Right, so actually, I forgot to mention, guys, I have installed a new mod. A few of you guys have mentioned it in past episodes, and I never got around to doing it. To be completely honest, I was actually kind of worried it would break the game. But the mod is Sequential Overwatch. Basically, it's the Overwatch from SCOM 2. So everybody takes turns shooting instead of shooting all at the same time. Because when they shoot all at the same time, inevitably, the first two or three shots hit, the target dies, all the other shots are wasted, especially the shots from any kind of sniper rifles, because they take so long to shoot. Now it looks something a little bit more like this. I recorded this in the 
test map and what you're seeing is sped up but there are downsides to this because as you guys can see only one shot is taken per one tile of movement so if you have a squad of eight overwatching and the target only moves three or four tiles there will only be three or four shots so yeah there are downsides to having this mod but I think in the long run it will be better if nothing else it means there won't be wasted ammo right so what are we gonna do about this I think and thank god we've got a side strike I completely forgot I didn't check if we had cover destruction which for these cover missions you really really need to do you need to make sure there's no cover inside of the zone as any exalt that goes in it will be out of cover and you just take pot shots at them and kill them so thank god for power I can't believe his nickname was useless so I think what what are the chances 3.2 scatter there's no way it's gonna hit the encoder three tiles in that direction would leave it kind of here I mean maybe maybe we'll, but I don't know either way I think I'm gonna go for this but what let's start off with your motion tracker see what else is out there or pal should I say I don't see anybody else and I don't want to move anybody because they are quite clumped up here and a rocket right on them will mean that they'll be one shot away from dying and not to mention it could blow up a lot of this cover which as I said I don't want anywhere near the encoder so what start us off ain't true that that wasn't true not even close that wasn't true and they all ran the encoder. Someone is attempting to access mm -hmm. the encoder, Commander. We can't allow Exalt to hack that equipment or they're going to locate the transmitter. Okay, so we know our answer. We're absolutely hitting this transponder. That is a real bugger. Powell, I don't think you'll be in range. No, you're not. To be able to use a Psy Strike on that. So we are going all in here. All of these are rotating, so they're all lit. I don't see any other transponders out there. God, I always get this wrong. Encoder, transmitter, and transponder. I don't know what the difference is, but we're going to unload all their weapons from ammo. Let's make sure we go into run and gun first. First, Moving at the speed of death. And then run over here. Moving out. If our operative can get close enough to one of those exalt communications relays yeah, deployed Bradley, throughout the area, I know. I know. I know. I know. Thank you, Bradley. Wow. Okay, well, pal, we're going to trigger a lot of people, but you've got the motion track, so you might as well lead. On the move. What have we got? Oh, they're actually kind of stupid. I mean, there's no way we're going to be able to get all of them. But, oh, Perry, you don't have shots. You're just out of range. You've got an LMG with extended range. But yeah, that's too far for you. And Shades, I would actually love to get you on this rooftop. But yeah, considering you have less extended range than Perry, I really don't think that's going to be of much use. So yeah, I kind of feel that they're going to definitely have one turn in the encoder for this one. And in fact, we have to run and gun to even get in range of them. So I guess let's do that. Moving to firing position. Run and gun up. I'm on the move. They don't have ammo. Here they come. Oh, four more. Looks like the exact same pod. Three infantry and one rocketeer. So that is a lot of grenades. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of grenades. Let's get everybody into position. Oh, that car's on fire. Yeah, let's not stand there, actually. Although, then again, where else would you go? Everybody's using run and gun. Seems to be in fashion, this mission. Sprint up. We'll see what the shots are and then decide. Going in for the kill. Oh, yeah. And that is all our running guns. So we will have none next turn. Or the turn off that. And maybe the turn off that as well. So Angelo, let's try to take out this leader. You have got two 70s to hit. Do your best, buddy. Good hit. Is it a kill? Oh, nicely done, Angelo. Very, very nice. Now, McLean, you're not going to have an aim penalty because you won't be using rapid fire because you don't have rapid fire. Unfortunately, we've only got two more flank targets. Oh, no, three. This one back here. So I guess go for that one. So yeah, let's target this guy. These guys closer up are going to be better targets for, well, our only shotgun. Let's go for it. 81 to hit. We have to roll max damage to kill or get a crit. Let's find out if we even hit. Ooh, just one off. Although, oh no, you're out of range. Bulsara does have mayhem suppression. So let's move you up as far as we can go. And you got three shots. Okay. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, Bulsara, you are very clever. He can mayhem suppress this one, killing that one. Oh, but he doesn't have danger zone suppression. It's mayhem suppression, right? They have two different perks. Of course they are. Mayhem's the damage. Danger zone is the AoE. But either way, I mean, you're in range to get a shot. So can't really complain. Now, Perry, you also have a rapid fire. We'll see if I want you to use it. Power, you're in range for 286s. Let's go for the one with slight less health. See if you can kill him. Pop. X-ray neutralized. Another one down. 191 or 276s. Honestly, we got rapid fire for a reason. I don't think 191 is going to kill. No, we'd have to crit. And we've already seen how that went. So you know what? 276s. Make it happen. Good hit. Come on, Perry. Come on. 
Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We know what, Farrok. We know exactly who you're going to go for. Oh, God. you got less accuracy than Perry, and he was using rapid fire. I don't think Mayhem is going to do enough damage to kill. So, you know what? 173 to kill that Rocketeer. X-ray neutralized. Nice work, Queen. Bay. Ooh, uh, I don't really want to trigger more. Although, then again, I didn't see anybody else in range. So, let's do that. Bay. I'm pretty sure this car explodes for only one tile, so you should be absolutely safe there. Sprint. Understood. Moving out. Please don't trigger. Good. Chris's baby daddy. Run as fast as he can. And then shades. Oh, man. Let's see if you have a shot. I mean, I really, really doubt it. But let's see if you do. Nope. Didn't think so. That's fine. I kind of want to get you on this rooftop. So we'll sprint you over this direction. And that is it. I don't want to overwatch with Walken. So, yeah, we'll call that a turn. Three targets down. One badly wounded. We should be able to finish him off next turn. Always with a steady weapon. Why? Reload. 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 Okay. So you are not a threat. You four are. And we can't flank you. Although I can mayhem suppress you. And we can also cover destruct that. And even better. Oh, we have got so many close encounters. Oh, man. Well, you know what? Let's get McLean in first. You can move further. Do a nice little blue move. Can anybody else get in range? No. Actually, Bay. Oh, yes, barely. Yeah, do it, buddy. Okay. Get in. Nice. Yeah, that LMG is definitely slowing Perry down. But look, he's fired two shots. And look how much ammo he's got left. Honestly, you can just blue move and do a rapid fire. Although I don't really know to who mm, about that. But you know what? Let's take our three shots. Bay, this is your close encounter shot. 100 hit. And you're dead. No longer a threat. God, 11 damage crit, my god. Let's not take our shot on you. Instead, let's kill you, or try to with McLean. 279s. Hit. Try again. Dead. Very, very nice. Angelo, hmm, I guess just go here. And power, you're gonna have a free shot on this guy, so do that. Moving out. Take your free shot. Oh my god. Okay. He's down. Well, we know Angelo's not going to be shooting that guy. Was that like a 13 damage crit? I didn't catch that. But what I intend to do is side strike. Get rid of this cover. I don't want it here anymore. And yes, my friend, you are out of cover. And now, Perry, can you give me another rapid fire? 276s. Oh my god, are you going to hit the encoder? Oh, are you actually going to hit the encoder though? I don't like that. I really don't like that. <laughs> Shades move up. Oh, right, Bay. Yeah, never mind. Y you've still got a shot. Yeah, what, what am I even thinking? Take a shot on you. Hollow targeting. Okay. Well, that guarantees that Perry will hit now. 100 hit. Nice. Question is, Farrell, really? move up. Should I danger zone this guy? I'm worried about the fire hitting that. Angelo, what about you? 78. Flush. 100. Okay, well, Angelo, we know what you're doing. Yep, dumb. New bringing flush was a good idea. And you know what, Farrok? It's been a long time since you've been on a mission. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking that shot. <laughs> not over the encoder. Definitely not doing that. Perry, this is guaranteed to hit, so you shouldn't damage that. Although, hmm, you know what? I kind of want Shades to do it, because his fire is a straight line, and it won't be shooting over that thing. Yeah, you know what, Shades? Yeah, yeah, you, you do it. Perry, don't worry about it. It's fine. 100 to kill. Very nice. Taken care of. Let's sprint up. What? He can be in position for another rocket next turn. And Farrok. Um, you know what? Reload. You're in range. Let's rock. And Perry, yeah, you d you don't need to reload yet. Come on. And Walken, you can honestly just go here. And Zombie, you can just sprint up. Go there. Poor Zombie. We're already killing Salt. And the Chrysid hasn't even popped yet. So that's it. Yeah, very nice. End the turn. Oof. I didn't put the Zombie there. So now, I suppose, Moving step over. Oh, yeah, we can actually do with some reloads, come to think of it. Well, most people, not parry here. Yeah, the shotgunners, I don't think we're going to use pistol overwatches. Oh, my God, and the ships definitely need to reload. Zombie just go there. Far up there. Shades here. And what? Yeah, you can just go there. Then, bay reload. Power reload. McLean. Angelo. And that is the benefits of the LMG. Perry here still has so much ammo. Oh, man. But yeah, everybody except for Walken, who honestly just hunker down. Boom. Can do an Overwatch. So let's do that. Uh, 
What we got? Let's see some of that sequential overwatch. Harry and Brock both miss. So much for long range overwatch with assaults. Then Shades. Shades hits. And so does Watt. Okay. Commander, I can work with that. Scans indicate Ooh, additional okay, contacts approaching strike one's position. And we've got our chrysalid. Everybody nearly panicked? Well, nearly. Okay, well, be right back. And we're back. Like nothing happened. All magic. So yeah, swap this with a enemy communications are God down. damn it. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to select the chrysalid. Walken! Oh uh, well. Oh, that is unfortunate. I did not want to hit that yet. We could have very likely killed everybody here. Oh, so much for that. But yeah, swap this with a friendly chrysalid, because otherwise the mission wouldn't end because even an enemy unit converted to a friendly unit still counts as an enemy unit and the mission won't end. So with that done, Chris, if you would, I'm pretty certain you'll kill this guy. If I remember correctly, doing all those custom missions, a standard chrysalid will kill a standard sniper. So go and do that, if you would. Make some babies. Thank you. And 20 XP for Shades. For his pet chrysalid doing the kill. And we could go for a rocket. But honestly, I kind of feel that what should be getting some kills here. Question is, how would I do that? Well, there's a target. Although, what, your accuracy isn't that high. Oh, and Bay. Oh, I'm not even going to stop you, Bay. I should share the kills, but I'm not going to. That's that. 12 damage crit! Okay. You know what, Farrokh? This is yours. If you can't kill him, then what's going to kill him? So, on you. Okay, well, on what? Go on then, buddy. 100 to kill. Boot. Oh, man. All these kills. Who do I want to give the experience to? Well, let's move up, pal. Get you in range of a close encounters. And parry. Ooh, again. Just out of range. That's fine. That's Go there. You got an 85 to kill that guy. Toasted. Bay, use your second shot on this guy. Hollow targeted. McLean, you've got your own close encounters. Let it rip. Out the window. Oh my god. And shades. I mean, I could give the kill to McLean. I could, but because McLean and Angelo are coming on these really heavily populated exalt missions, McLean is never going to lose that medal, that Employee of the Month medal. Not until we get like large landeds. So this is for you, Shades. It was for that you, Shades. Now it's for McLean. And a crit as well. Well, yep, that 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 happened. Pow, um, yeah, I don't I don't want to move you over. I don't want the same thing to happen again, to accidentally click that. So, Perry, you don't need to reload yet. Angelo, you're good. You can go there. And Overwatch. Walken, honestly, you can as well. Overwatch. Aye, aye. And Pow, Overwatch aye, as well Overwatch. as Perry. All oh, right, and Shades. Overwatch. We've got ourselves another zombie. Bay, Moving fall back. Good. Reload. McLean, reload. What to reload. And... Ah, oh, it's fine. Looks like Shade's got three shots left. So yeah, give me another Overwatch. Heads up, Commander. Exalt Hello. Forces are moving into position near Strike One. Shade's took a shot. Don't know if it hit. We'll find out in a second. Oh my god. And Perry just shot from downtown. And hit from Walken. Frock hit that guy or tried to shoot him but missed. That is a hit from McLean. And that's really good to know that people keep shooting when enemy reinforcements drop down. I was really worried that because, as you saw in the video, people would only take a shot as the unit would move one tile at a time. I thought when a unit would drop down, the first person would shoot and then nobody else would shoot. But that is really, really good that people will keep shooting at that target even though the target's not moving. So, awesome. Oh, oh no. Uh, really? Really, Chris? Go on then. Go on then. Oh, fine. I could be giving that XP to other people like what, who frankly really could have killed him. <laughs> oh well. Shades, another 20 XP for you. And this guy. No target, eh? Really. Move Full back. 100 hit. 
Running dry. Oh, what? Yeah. I was actually going to give this to Walken, but Walken's in no rush to level up. I mean, he's already got concealment now. And he has 18 mobility. Did he get sprinter? Oh my god, tell me that he's got sprinter already. He doesn't have sprinter already and he's got 18. How, how does he have 18 mobility? How is that possible? I'm pretty sure sprinter's like the last or penultimate perk that he'd get in his perk tree. How does he have 18 mobility? That is insane. Oh, uh, well, what? You've got a long way to go to get to in the zone, so let's get you going. 97 to kill. And, and switch to pistol. Oh, it was Angelo that took that overwatch shot because McLean is underneath. But yeah, we are done. And in fact, Shades, a good place for you would have been up here. But honestly, I don't think we'd have time to get you there. So give me overwatches then. Another zombie. Still nothing. You know what? Just overwatch. It's fine. It looks like this is the last of the oh, buddy. Buddy, why? Miss from Bay. What are you doing? Do you even know? Shot from Perry Point Blank! <laughs> oh yeah. That hurt. Quite low damage from an LMG, but still, that hurt. Then what's gonna shoot? Is he gonna kill? Gets that kill. Very nice what. And Powell takes a shot with his heater and misses. Farrok. Oh, miss as well, buddy. Your future in rapid reactions is not looking good. Angelo, another miss. And McLean as well. Oh, I do like these consecutive overwatches. I really do. I'm sorry, what? Shades panicked! Because somebody turned into a chrysalid. That is not good. Shades, what are you doing? Why are you panicked? He was a friendly unit. Speaking of he, where, where is he? Oh, up here. Yeah, it was this guy that turned into a chrysalid and the OG chrysalid jumped up here. Chris, there. That's Chris 2.0. That's soon to be Chris 3.0. You know, assuming this doesn't end right here, which it will. I'm on the move. Oh, left click. Left click, Perry. Left click, not a right click. Angelo, we need your rapid fire. Get over here. And in case anybody's wondering, yes, you can get awarded medals twice. So say, for example, if Shades pet chrysalid Chris, which is actually quite ironic that Shades of all people panicked when the baby of his pet chrysalid died and birthed into another one of his babies. But no, whatever, that's fine. The medal in the barracks for Shades would show the last mission that he got the medal as well as this one. So like, I don't know, for example, mission 028 and mission 036 for this mission. So yeah, you can get multiples of the same medal and it will show up in the barracks. It will have the awarded mission number being multiples. Anyway, kill this guy for me, please, Angelo. That's why you rapid fire. Thank you. I mean, it's not that we need it, but fine. Walk and come here. Hit that. You've disrupted the enemy this is the last round. Network. Shoot this guy. Time for them to get it running again. Crit. I needed that. Got no ammo. And what? Can you kill him? You have to do mid damage to kill him, if not a crit. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So. Please kill him. Very nice. Boom. No tengo More XP for you. You're getting closer and closer to your in the zone. The only in the zone that we've got. And in fact, you have actually leveled up. Awesome. And Angelo. I don't really want you to be an XP. You know what, Perry? You got 95. If you kill him, you kill him. Dead. Target eliminated. And Bay, get over here. Give him two close encounters with your pistol. And then Farrok, get on your way to get that rapid rations. Boom. Excellent work, up there, Commander. Exalt's forces in the area have been eliminated and the transmitter is secure. So yeah, of course, ignore operatives lost. Between the first chrysalid that I spawned in by accident instead of a zombie, then the zombie that turned into an enemy chrysalid that I had to put to one side and kill as well, then all the zombies that just die and then turn to chrysalids, including the one that made Shades panic. I mean, of all people, wow. But yeah, flawless mission. Let's head home. So, exhaustion on Perry, 10 days is not bad at all. And 11 days on Pow, again, that's not really that bad. Considering the fatigue here, six days, seven, seven, seven. Times up by two, because he went on two missions in quick succession. That should honestly be 14 days of wound time. And even then we'd break even. So we came out ahead here. Yeah, for both Powell and Perry. So, Shades, you are gonna get, ooh, what are you gonna get? You only have one more shot perk. Obviously not gonna be snapshot, because you don't have a sniper rifle or an LMG. Plus 10 aim after missing for the next shot you make. Or Overwatch no longer suffers an aim 
penalty. But it's not like opportunist where it has crit chance as well. This is just no aim penalty. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go for this. When you do shoot on Overwatch, I do want you to have 85% to hit, not 85 times by 0.66 or something. So yeah, I think this will get us more hits than that will. Boom. And then pow. What's leveled up? You did level up, buddy. Yeah, because your sergeant perk is Rocketeer, and you already are a Rocketeer, so we're not being told you leveled up. So yeah, pal, Shredder ammo doesn't work on you. Only works if you're a gunner or a Rocketeer, unfortunately. Covering fire, oh my god, no. Oh, buddy, no. Yeah, just, just field medic. Have a free med kit, I guess. Done. Boom. So yeah, a very good mission. I was wondering if we we're going to have any exalt here with laser weapons, any elite exalt, but yeah, I guess not yet. So let's head to the barracks, give what his next perk, his sergeant perk, check to see if anybody else leveled up and give people back their officer perks. I think Farrakh Balsara had an officer perk and check to see if Angelo and McLean have leveled up, which I think they have. I think they were one mission away from leveling up. So, Owen Walken. <laughs> I don't know why it said 18 mobility on the mission. That sounds a bit more reasonable. 15 plus 1. But yeah, you're getting sprinted out. Of course, you know, unless he wanted heat warheads or some others may live. Yeah, yeah, sprinter. I mean, oh man. Done. And we got 8 mil for that. Okay. Exalt Intel decryption complete. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible exalt location. And now we have four locations where the exalt base is not. US, Canada, France, and India. Okay, we are back. What, what are you going to get? <laughs> oh man, these jokes are going to be coming in fast, actually. Officer Promotions, Lieutenant, you are now Lieutenant what? Legio, Pastor Nostra, of course. Stay frosty, rubbish. Boom. All that goatee. You know what? As long as you hit your in the zone shots, I am happy, buddy. Now let's see what you got at sergeant rank. Damn good ground. Oh, right into the breach. Yeah, of course it's going to be into the breach. That'd be plus 25% XP for every soldier at sergeant rank or lower for completing the mission. And boom, into the breach. Unfortunately, so shall you fight doesn't happen until all the way at master sergeant. So you have got a ways to go, buddy. But your next rank will be Psy Panic. Then after that, in the zone. Yeah, you'll be very similar to Van Dorn, actually. You'll be another Psy officer. I think your random record perk was Mind Fray. Yeah, so Unfortunately, being an officer, Mind Fray won't do any damage, but, you know, what can you do? But, yeah, you'll also be getting Psy Panic. Not bad. Another Psy Officer. But, yeah, you have got a ways to go. You really do. Although, once you get to In the Zone, you probably won't take that long to get to Master Sergeant with all the killing you're going to be doing. And then, Farrakh Balsara lost his Legio Pastor Nostra. I think it was a random rookie perk. There you go. You got it back. And you're one mission away from getting Rapid Reactions, which is kind of a shame because it's against a pet and Psy Strike. And I know I'd always go for pets, I know, but honestly, if I went for a pet and it was a rubbish pet, I would never use this guy again. It's got to be rapid reactions or I'm never going to use him. It's as simple as that. He's either going to be potentially a dead soldier or a soldier with rapid reactions. And Angelo, you have just leveled up to Tech Sergeant. So there you go, buddy. You're now the same rank as McLean. We'll see if she's actually still on Tech Sergeant. But yeah, you ranked up just barely. To get to Tech Sergeant, I worked out you need to get 75 kills with each mission count for two kills. 16 times 2 plus 43 is 75. So let's go to random.org and find out what you're going to get. Please make it good. Okay, so it's not going to be Overload, perk number 99, where a drone explodes dealing three damage, which would have been fun on, on Angelo. Terrifying, but fun. And instead it is perk 150. Now I need to check this. It's Field Surgeon. If it's the perk that gives a free med kit, we get to re-roll it because Angelo can't use med kits because he's a shiv. But if it's the perk that reduces the time of injuries by one day, not including exhaustions, then unfortunately Angelo has to keep it because it does still apply to the squad. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, Field Medic's the one that gives a free med kit, which means we would have re-rolled it, but Field Surgeon is the one that reduces time on injuries by one day. God damn. Angelo, I am so sorry, buddy. I really am. What a crappy perk. Field Surgeon, reducing all injury time taken on missions down by one day, not including exhaustions. And considering the only missions you're going on are exalt missions, and we rarely take any damage on exalt missions, so damn, that is, that is rubbish. And McLean has not leveled up. She has got, I think, eight kills more to go, or four missions with no kills, whatever. Oh, but that is a bugger about Angelo. <laughs> of all the perks. Oh, man. I will check off camera to make sure that it still works with shivs, but I'm pretty sure it would because there's no reason why it wouldn't. It's just a passive perk that applies to the whole squad. But oh, man, that sucks. Anyway, we've got satellite coverage finally arriving over North America. Two alloy bipods. Again, finally for our snipers. That'll be an extra plus two aim and plus two crit over laser sights. And then cat the 10 soldiers that'll be replacing the male cat that we currently have which I'm, I'm hoping one of these 10 soldiers will be female. So let's roll the clock and see what's next. Alloy bipod is done. Thank you, Shen. And that scope's gonna get done in three days, wow. Okay, well, let's bring these soldiers home. 
and as the screen fades to black, because I don't want you guys to see what soldiers have arrived. Oh, thank God for that. One soldier was female. And Cat, finally, after all that, here you are. Right, your random brick perk, which I can't remember what it was, and I deleted the other cat already. I've dismissed him, as well as all the other nine soldiers that we got. It was aggression, right? Because the idea was I was going to turn you into an infantry, because, I mean, who else would have aggression? Pretty sure it was aggression. Worst case scenario, I'll have to just change that the next mission she goes on. And there you go, cat, aggression. Welcome, finally, home. And you also need, like, I don't know, like 220 XP? No, 280. Yeah, I checked the footage, and the cat on the mission actually got 280 XP just for being there. That'll be a nice jump in XP that you'll get the next mission you go on, because I can't give XP at the base. And speaking of XP, we are 12 XP away from these six soldiers getting to Corporal, and also getting the medal Death Jockey, ranking up to Corporal without ever leaving the base. And I can't remember how much XP they get per day. I believe it's seven. One for building off the train school, and then an extra one for every upgrade that you get. So certainly in two days, they will rank up to Corporal. Anyway, thin man autopsy or you want a satellite in China? Yeah, for two engineers, no, no, that's not gonna happen. And we can make chem grenades, oh, thank God. An improved medkit project, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Chem grenades, finally, another tool in our war against the machines. I feel like I should have a giant scar across my face when I say that. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with you, Vaughn, in a second. Sort of science as a way to improve our everyday lives, to answer the long-standing questions of scientific history. Whatever that may be. Thank you, Varlin. Yay, two chem grenades. Oh, we actually should have more engineers to build this. We can build it, but it's slowed. Let's make two. We have the thin men for it, apparently. Do we not? Yeah, we do. We have the money, the alloys, the thin men. Yeah, let's make two. So on every mission now, not including exalt missions, we would be taking a shredder rocket, disabling shot, and a chem grenade. At least one chem grenade. Ideally, a chem grenade on a soldier that's either got Packmaster or Grenadier. So... Thank you, Shen. And God, we need another laser cannon. Ah, oh, screw it. It's not like we're going to run out of them. Done. Oh yeah, we definitely need more laser cannons. Anyway, Varlin, this will be your last autopsy for a while. After that, you're going to head into alien biocybernetics so that we can then do floaters and cyber disks. Because floaters can have cover and fire and cyber disks can, yeah, they can also have cover and fire. So, Muton, because again, they can have cover and fire. This is the most physically fit, physically fit, physically, physically, physically fit. I had to research, research. I had to research research I had to research research I had to research specimen we've discovered so far which the troops fondly refer to as physically fit physically fit physically 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 fit the muton physically fit I am doctor physically fit I had to research research I had to research research I had to research research I had to research I can only assume there's a colourful backstory for such a designation. Wow, really, Varlin? That's all you've got to say? Not exactly much for me to work with, is it? Thanks for that. Cheers. Oh, man. Trying to parody two lines worth of dialogue. Oh, all getting a bit much. Anyway, we have arc throwers now. Yes. And the alien containment will be done in one day. Oh, that perfect timing. Past Mickey, thank you. We can actually start capturing aliens. And in fact, will we have it all before the next mission? Well, we got that. And that. And that. Alien containment facility. Ooh, Garland online. is going to have some fun in there. It's done. We can actually start capturing aliens. Illustrious, where are you, buddy? Actually, Illustrious and Carlock. Carlock, you'll be back in a day. You got repair. And Illustrious, you have not been on a lot of missions. You have got repair as well. It was your random rookie perk on the Newfoundland mission. Oh, buddy, you're going to start seeing a lot of action now. Either way, let's see what's next. Drones for two engineers. France. Yeah, okay. France actually doing pretty well on panic, but no panic defense, so that will help. And yeah, Canada. Oh, you need to increase your shield. You are not doing too good after that terror mission. Keep going. Finally, another scope, our fifth scope, hopefully our last scope. Holo targeter for the shivs, handy to have. Contact detected. Okay, you, my friend, are gonna land. Are you an ambush though? Let's find out what you do. Go on then, land. Contact detected. There you are. And mere hours before finishing that mutant autopsy. So we've got 14 hours to go here. And oh my god, all of these soldiers, they've all made it. We've now got the death jockey perk on all of these guys. Oh man, that is me a lot of training. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is going to be the mission to do it. Because this is a landed medium, not a crashed medium. Crashed medium, I'd absolutely take maybe two rookies a bit much. I might still do it if I went heavy on snipers. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just, let's just see. What map? 
map is it going to be on? Detected. Forest heavy vegetation. So not like the nuked city or the, the tower block that it lands on or something. So maybe we'll take a rookie. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. I don't know if this is going to be a job for Van Dorn or for Wilson. It could be an ambush. It really could. Definitely going to go heavy on the snipers though. Snyder and Mason are going to be coming along with Wilson. And Gerard is actually quite close to getting to 6,000 XP where he makes it to Master Sergeant plus one. So we get a random rookie perk at 6,000 XP. Not bad. So how that works is, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned in the past, each rank up of a soldier is typically 50% more XP than the last. I continue with that pattern beyond 4,000 XP, which is where you get to Master Sergeant. So 6,000, you get to Master Sergeant plus one. 9,000, you get to Master Sergeant plus two, so on and so on. So yeah, I guess that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let anybody else know if you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you guys back here next time for the continuation of XMW Long War I Pets. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and bye-bye. A nice easy mission followed by a mission that could be absolute. Second shot. You can do this, Alex. Be the dark. He lives. Okay, we can kill this thing. We can kill this thing. Two and three. Yes!